The embalming process is quite the macabre art form that would make even Vincent Price a bit squeamish. And it's that very process that can take a person from looking peacefully asleep to resembling a wax figure that's slightly off. First things first, preservation. Embalmers start by pumping formaldehyde-based chemicals into the deceased's circulatory system. This serves to stymie decomposition, yes, but it also dehydrates the body. When your skin loses moisture, it tightens and can become more transparent. This particular change can give the skin a slightly different hue and can cause a person to look different than they did in life. Next comes setting the features. Since muscles relax after death, embalmers often need to manipulate facial features to create a natural resting expression. Mouths might be sewn shut, eyes are typically glued or have caps placed underneath to keep them closed, and the face might be subtly molded to ensure a peaceful appearance. If the embalmer goes a bit heavy-handed on this step, the person can end up looking quite different. Think of it a bit like stage makeup for a very still performance. The deceased is prepped to present a calm demeanor, often for open casket viewings, so makeup is applied to restore some semblance of life. But embalming makeup is not the same as your day-to-day -day cosmetic kit. It's heavier and sometimes over-applied to cover up the discoloration caused by the embalming fluids or other post-mortem changes. This makeup can alter someone's familiar features significantly. By this time, the person you once knew may look somewhat foreign, a version of themselves seen through a distorted lens. Living in Portland, Oregon, with its lush greenery and frequent rain, reminds me that life is constantly in flux and continuously changing, much like how embalming transforms the look of a person. We're all part of a cycle, a natural design that doesn't necessarily align with the artificial preservation we apply post-mortem. In the end, what the embalmers are doing is trying their best to offer a comforting image during a time of loss. It's a visual for closure, albeit an imperfect one.